Hello and welcome to another History Collectors Forum. I'm with Stan and he has a bunch of snub nose revolvers on the table. So Stan, take it away. Okay. Unfortunately, some people were supposed to bring me stuff and they ignored my emails. All right. There's always the question of what do you carry on duty, off duty? And some departments uh, told us you had to carry what you carried on duty. So for a while I carried an official police on and off duty, which was fine in the cold months. But when you got to the summertime, having a four inch official police on your hip wasn't always the coolest thing. And again, it depended on the departments. Um, we're going to do some history here. Over here is your famous lemon squeezer, Smith & Wesson, second model hammerless in 38 S and W. Okay. And it was a very popular gun, and it was made until almost the 1940s. But it was in 38 S and W. And again, you can put it in your pocket. The hammer is hidden away underneath here, so it wouldn't snag. And um, it was sold as a safe gun because you had a, it had this grip safety. So the argument was that a child picking up your gun would not be able to squeeze it and, and, and fire it. So it was a, considered an extra safety measure. All right. Now the 38 S and W caliber continued on. Colt and Smith and Wesson made some of their first snub noses within 38 S and W. And I was hoping to have a banker special here, but nobody has one in the club. They're getting to be very expensive and rare. And this is what's called a Terrier, and it's a Smith and Wesson in 38 S and W. Unfortunately, this one here is on the J-frame. Originally, they were on the I-frame, so the gun was a lot smaller and handier. And then they dropped the I-frame, and this one here is in the um, J-frame, which to me is a waste. You might as well, if you're going to carry a J-frame, carry in 38 Special. Um, I was able to get a lot of good guns from members of the police department in my hometown because they knew I was a gun person. And what started to happen was when they switched to uh, automatics, blocks, they got rid of their revolvers and a lot of them would tell me, well, I bought this gun when I first got on the force for $65, so I'll let it go for 50 So needless to say, I ended up getting a good number of nice snub noses <laughs> at a pretty good price. All right, below it is your Chief Special, which became a very, very popular uh, revolver for off-duty use. And they had two different grip styles. It was the square grip, which is right here, and the round grip, okay? And uh, they were very popular. Um, with the time that I was on the department, people either wanted Colts or Smith & Wesson. And some departments had a rule that the gun had to be American-made. And then along came a company called uh, Charter Arms. And Charter Arms uh, made a quality gun similar to a Chief Special at a better price. And then later on, another American company, South American, um, Rossi, which later became part of Taurus, they also made quality revolvers in the age of the revolver. Now, again, this is a square frame. They also made one with alloy, which I'll talk about when I do holsters. And then the regular. Now, this is my actual off-duty gun right here, a Model 60. Uh, became a very status symbol with that stainless steel guns. I got a letter from the chief. I had to go to a Smith & Wesson distributor with a letter from the chief. And then I had to wait a couple of months before they got me this particular gun, which I hope to start carrying again now that New Jersey is going to actually respect the Second Amendment. If I get a permit to carry um, that... Model 60 stainless steel will get some use. Although we were warned, do not go into New York City with any kind of shiny gun because New York City considered chrome equals criminal. And if you pulled out a shiny gun uh, and you were in plain clothes, you could easily become a victim of friendly fire. Now, here's another Smith & Wesson. And where'd the owner go? Where'd he go? All right. And you can see this one here has got adjustable sights. I think this one's a 357 Magnum. Uh, again, depending on what your department allowed you to carry, you can see that uh, taking away the trigger for single action. Some departments, the hammer, and hammer. hammer. Uh, some departments made all their guns double action only because of negligent discharges. All right. In the 1920s, a big thing was what they call fit specials. A guy named Fitzgerald worked for the Colt Company. And 
It is believed he made 200 custom made guns. And a lot of people just copied them. And this is probably a copy. But he would get smooth out the hammer and he would cut away the front of the trigger guard. And he would cut down the barrel. And these became very popular as a snub nose or a hideaway. And I believe a lot of famous people uh, were able to get them. And they still appeared in police manuals in the 1970s as a possible suggestion for a, a backup gun or your off-duty gun. Over here we have a Colt Detective Special. The Detective Special is nothing more than a police positive with a two-inch barrel. This one here has the famous hammer shroud, <coughs> which permitted you to carry it in your pocket <coughs> without the, the hammer getting caught. But you could still get enough of the hammer there if you did want to go into single action. And the reality is, if you carry an off-duty gun, it's carried a lot and shot little. So it came out with the Cobra. Not a Cobra, it's a detective special with an alloy frame, so it has less weight. And the idea of less weight revolvers was popular. Yeah, you could get a Chief Special Model 37 in uh, alloy, and that was popular for guys who carried ankle holsters, which is going to be a separate video we're going to do on regarding um, holsters for snub noses. And we're going to do videos on uh, police service belts. All right, so keep tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit you like you like uh, History Collectors Forum. And please make comments, particularly those of you who had a lot more experience carrying these things or were familiar with people who did. Take care. Like I said, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.